The Nagkarlan Underground Cemetery is regarded as the oldest underground cemetery in the country. It is located in Barangay Bambang in Nagkarlan, Laguna. It was established as early as 1845 as an exclusive crypt for Spanish friars and members of the elite and the prominent families in Nagkarlan. This underground crypt has served as the resting place for the departed for more than 100 years already. The cemetery is characterized by its ornate Baroque architecture under the Spanish colonial period. It's also a national historical site which was declared in 1978. Since then, there have been no more burials in the cemetery. The Nagarlan Underground Cemetery in Laguna is the only one of its kind in the Philippines. It is a burial site located inside, or more accurately, beneath a chapel. This chapel is rich in history. The Campo Santo, or the chapel inside the cemetery, was designed for funeral mass in 1845 by the Franciscan priest, Father Vicente Velo. He also directed the construction of an underground graveyard 15 feet below the chapel. Back in the days, the privileged ones buried inside the Nagarlan Underground Cemetery came mostly from the elite Catholic families. The entire area is shaped like an octagon and surrounded by iron wrought grills and ornate walls. There is a wide art gate that leads to the entrance of the cemetery followed by a tiled path that leads to this chapel. The chapel is meant to be the last stop of the funeral procession before the deceased is buried in the cemetery. Inside the crypt, you can see the ornate details on the ceilings, the pillars, and the doors. Flights of stairs lead down to the tombs. The oldest tomb was dated 1886. The Nagkarlan Underground Cemetery is considered a national historical landmark because its ground crypt served as a secret meeting place of several prominent leaders of the Katipuneros, such as General Sigurino Taino and Pedro Paterno in 1896, and of course, by other Filipino revolutionaries or Katipuneros, the members of the KKK. Leading to the revolution of 1896 and during the Filipino-American War, Filipino patriots and revolutionaries also used the underground cemetery as their hideout to formulate their battle plans and to seek shelter. It also became safe house for Filipino guerrillas during the World War II. 
there is no famous hero buried here, but perhaps it is enough that we pay our respects to this place where our nameless heroes and patriots sought sanctuary. This is Nagkarlan Underground Cemetery. silbing taguan ng mga magiting na bayaning ipinagtanggol ang ating kasarinlan. Pinapangalagaan ngayon at nagsisilbing tourist spots. Pero ang ilan tila nabaon na rin sa limot. Alamin natin ang ilan sa mga lihim na kanilang ikinukubli. Si Chino Gaston on assignment. Pagpasok mo sa bayan ng Nagkarlan sa Laguna, kapansin-pansin ang lumang estrukturang ito, ang Nagkarlan Underground Cemetery. Nagsisibig pa din ng sementeryo mga nakapalibot ditong mga lumang nitso. Ipinatayo ito kasama ang maliit na kapilya ng isang paring Kastila noong 1845. Dumating si Father Vicente Bello dito sa bayan ng Carlan, nakita niya na ang sementeryong ginagamit ng mga tao ay nasa loob ng pamayanan, which or inside the residential area. Ayaw ng paring ito na mag magcontinue yung sistema. Ito yung naging ideal site for a cemetery. Pero hindi lang basta himlayan ng mga taga nagkarla noon ginamit ang lugar na ito. Ang kripta o silid sa ilalim na bahagi ng sementeryo naging taguan daw o secret hideout ng mga revolusyonaryong leader ng Laguna noong 1896. Kalimitan, alam natin ang sementeryo sa gabi ay lugar na kalimitan kinatatakutan ng mga tao. So siguro yun yung dahilan kaya ito yung napilin lang lugar para magkaroon sila ng sekretong pagpapulong. Dahil sa pambihirang arkitektura at mahalagang kontribusyon nito, idineklara itong historical landmark noong dekada 70 ng National Historical Institute. Samantala, mga kakaibang sementeryo matatagpuan po sa Laguna. Kabilang na dito ang underground cemetery sa Nagarlan at ang mga makukulay na puntod at musileo sa Pila. Narito ang report ni Sherry Antor. Pagtapat pa lang sa tarangkahan na nagkarlan ang underground cemetery, kita na ang importansya ng lugar. Isa ito sa mga iniingatan lugar ng National Historical Institute. Ang mga puntod na nakapagitan sa lumang simbahan, hindi na binago pa sa lumang pagkakamada ng mga ito. Tahimik dito at mga ilan nilan lang ang nakalibing sa pinakaharapan. 1845, itinayo ito ng mga Kastila hanggang sa hawakan ito ng National Historical Institute noong 1970s. Sa ngayon, hindi na pinadadagdagan ang nakalibing dito na umaabot sa 276. Nasa basement ng simbahang ito ang underground cemetery na nagkarlan. Bigo ang GMA News na makuna nito dahil walang permiso ng NHI. Sabi ng ilang matatanda rito, tanging mayayaman at maiimpluwensyang tao lang ang nakalibing sa Nagkarlan Underground Cemetery. Masaya kasi dito siya napalibing sa ano, sabi living under ito ng mayayaman. Ay dahil sa mahal namin ng aming lola at saka ano eh, ang aming lola at lola, lolo lola, aming mahal. Kaya lagi kami nandito, 